Hey everyone, Alex here with ToolRev, and today we're looking at a stud finder from Franklin Sensors. This is their Pro Sensor 710. It's a little different from most stud finders in that you hold it horizontally, and as you scan across the wall, it uses 13 sensors to locate metal and wood objects. It can't tell the difference between the two, but it does track the full width of objects and show it to you with these 13 LEDs that run across the top. Kind of, if you go over single studs, it gives you three bars. Uh, modern stud is an inch and a half wide and three bars on the sensor is from outside to outside is an inch and a quarter. So sometimes the middle light is right on center with the stud and sometimes it's a little left or right of center. And once you get past the first two LEDs on either side of the display, it gives a minimum of three bars. So if you run across a small pipe in the wall, kind of close to the inside, like this three quarter inch copper water pipe is about a half inch off the inside of that wall. It represents like a stud. So you see, you get that three solid bars rolling across the sensor, which is representative of a stud. Now Franklin um, specs the maximum depth detection for this at one and a half inches under ideal conditions, like the smooth flat surface of this unfinished drywall and they reduce that down to around one inch for real world conditions where you're gonna have drywall mud, maybe some texture and paint. And that's a good thing. Most pipes are more centered in the wall and a one inch depth means you're less likely to mistake a metal water or gas line for a stud. So if we push this a little more into the center and we try to run this again, you can see it's not picking up. It picks it up a little bit. It picked it, I tried this earlier and it picked it up more, but when it does, it doesn't give you that solid three bars. So you're probably not gonna mistake it for a stud. And this thing doesn't really read plastic very well at all. See, it's just going over the stud there. So you don't really have to worry about ABS, PVC, or PEX line with this. Um, this runs on two AA batteries. And with the batteries on board, this weighs just over 10 ounces. For comparison, this Fat Max 25 foot tape measure weighs 18 ounces. So this is pretty lightweight. A couple of cool features with this. One is it doesn't need calibration, so you can just stick it on the wall and it works. Even if you start over a stud, it instantly detects the stud and then just keeps working. Where a lot of stud finders, if you start over a stud, you have to run it back and forth so it can calibrate the difference between an object and empty space before it'll work properly. And that usually involves a lot of annoying beeping before you can get to that point. And that's another great thing about this tool is it's silent. These cost about $50. Um, the first one I bought actually was a little bit uh, extra flashy. So you see when it goes over empty bays, it, it false flashes a lot. And that would make me think there's probably a pipe in the wall. It works fine. It still picks up the studs perfectly, but I went ahead and ordered a replacement and this one does not false flash in between studs. So if you press the button and put it over an empty bay, it'll give you an initial flash and then it just goes about its business working properly. They also come in blue if you prefer. So this is the same thing. These are, I got this one off Amazon. This one is from Home Depot and just kind of your preference. My wife pointed out that the yellow one's going to be easier to find in your truck or your tool bag and I think I agree so I'm going to stick with the yellow one and if you get one of these I hope it works for you and let me know if uh, you have one of these or you've had one of these for a while and if it started out not being false flashy and then it turned flashy over time that would be a good thing for everybody to know but yeah even if it gets false flashy it's still going to be the best stud finder I've used so far and that's about it for me guys so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time how birds have such skinny legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're so, they're like twins. I guess they do, don't do a lot of walking. Yeah, they're pretty light. <clears throat> Lightweight. So they can fly. That's true. 